Okay, yeah, we're back. Do another list or something, you know, doing doing a list again. And uh, today will be uh, today will be uh, the top. Uh, top 17 2011 props. Now, we do have criteria, as we do with every list I do. Uh, first piece of criteria is it has to be a non-tabletop prop. Ergo, every zombie baby and, like, the Bloody Mary mirror, that's not really a technical full-size prop, I would say. Like, the one you're looking at right now, Life Sentence, that one's kind of on the border between a, um, a life size and a tabletop had to include it because it's actually kind of big yeah uh, starting out I think number three six 15 17 number 17 is life sentence oh and also I, I forgot to say it cannot be a um, it cannot be a licensed prop, nor can it be a tabletop prop or zombie baby. So, all life sizes and uh, not licensed. Number 17 is Life Sentence. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Life Sentence because not very many people noticed it. Uh, but it is cool. I mean, it's a dude in a prison, and all he does is, like, rattle the bars and fog, which is eh, kind of cool. I mean, but not my favorite, right? Not Honestly, not my favorite. People will walk past it, not really notice it. Number 16 is John Doe. I know I'm going to get crucified for this, but I do not really like John Doe. I honestly kind of like Toe Tag Corpse better. I like Toe Tag Corpse better because it's more life-size. John Doe is only 3 feet. Toe Tag is about 5 feet. And also, the blood on John Doe looks nothing near realistic. It looks like paint, really. And, but, I mean, yeah, John Doe is cool, but I gotta, when it comes to the body bag guys, Toe Tag really wins it for me. I, I don't hate Old Spirit, I'm just not the biggest fan of John Doe. And they made another version of him where his eyes glow, but I, honestly, I really didn't care too much. Um, number 15 is the Zombie Bait prop. Now, Zombie Bait prop is one of, I think, Three props. It consists of a uh, zombie. Oh crap! All right. Well, gotta do that later. Uh, zombie bait is a part of the zombie bait lineup, which is zombie bait, um, bloody bag of jokes, and cocoon corpse. I mean, they're all good props. Honestly, my favorite bloody bag of jokes. This one is my least favorite of the three, but hey, he was a cool prop. They did really good with him. Number 14 is RFG Zombie. I'm not the biggest fan of Rise of the Grave Zombie because I really just never was a fan of him. He didn't look too good, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, he was cool. He was a Rising from the Grave prop, and who doesn't really like a good Rising from the Grave prop? Same phrases as the, uh, as every single Rising from the Grave prop, minus the, um, Ghoul. Ghoul has different phrases, which, thank God. But, I mean, yeah, it's just a classic Rising from the Grave prop. Just not my favorite Rising from the Grave. I'll do a list on that, but of course I'm gonna, do, hey, of course I'm gonna do more of these videos. Why? Because they take not a lot of time to make, and they're super freaking easy. They're just my opinions. I mean, who doesn't like being opinionated? So number 13 is Eaten Alive. Now, Eaten Alive, I heard was huge, right? Never seen this in stores. I only went, like, twice in 2011. I do not remember him at all, but I have seen videos of him. He is cool. It's just a little weird, because... I, I really don't know how to explain it, but his look, I, he looks like really, really pale, almost green in the face. Not the biggest fan. I, I, I really don't know what much to say, because I haven't really seen this prop. So I think that was number... Number 12 
12 is the creepy caretaker. I've seen this guy at Party City, and I've seen this guy a couple times at Spirit. Um, he uses the Pumpkin Reapers, I think, the Rising Pumpkin Reapers, um, sayings. Which, I, I guess is cool. I mean, I'll, honestly, the Pumpkin Reaper, in my opinion, is better. But I guess creepy creepy character is really cool. All right, he's a cool prop. I mean, he's hidden behind a tombstone. Whenever he rises up, you just see a lantern and the zombie-like dude, which really don't see much of every day. Uh, so I mean, A plus for creativity, B minus for execution. Yeah, the tombstone looks cool. He looks cool. The voice they could have gotten more voice, like a couple phrases maybe, if not another voice file, an audio file, but the Pumpkin Reaper, uh, I don't know if it really works, eh, whatever, now for number 11, Rosemary, alright, now, I do like Rosemary, don't get me wrong, just 2011, I like a lot more props better than Rosemary, there's a lot more than I like than Rosemary, so, I mean, of course she's got dumbed down, because there's a lot more I like. But don't get me wrong, I think Rosemary is honestly a cool prop, but when it comes to 2011, I mean, I think there are better props. I mean, not very many nitpicks, but hey, whatever. So I think that was number... Uh, number 10 is the, I think the Tombstone Vampire, the Rising Tombstone Vamp... Uh, no, not Tombstone, Rising Coffin Vampire, or Rising Vampire and Coffin. Can't really remember the name, but he was pretty cool. Came up in a coffin, it would fold up, and it was a pretty easy setup, as I heard. But, uh, he'd be laying down on the coffin, you activate him, he rises up, head spins 90 degrees, and he starts talking. Which is pretty cool, you don't see a lot of that every day. Um, he is different, because Spirit has not had very many vampires, so he's cool, at least. And, uh, yeah, honestly, just a good prop, I do think there were better ones, so, uh, so number nine, I think. Yeah, number nine is the Harvester, 2011 Harvester. I love the Harvester, don't get me wrong, but I do think there were better props, alright? Same thing with Rosemary, I love the Harvester, alright? Harvester is one of my favorite props. I am so happy to own the Harvester. I got so lucky last year. And, honestly, it's one of my favorite props. But in 2011, yet again, there were better props, in my opinion. Uh, so I think that was number nine. Yeah, no, that was number 10, so now for number 9, Jumping Spider. Now, this one I actually do have nitpicks about. 2011 Jumping Spider had the best springs of all the Jumping Spiders, alright? 2011, 2012, those are the golden years for the Jumping Spider. Nitpicks, though. 2012 Jumping Spider, just gonna say this, the body was usually crooked, like, diagonal, freaking crooked. 2011 models, they're like... 50% shorter than your average 2019 or from like 2014 to 2019 jumping spider. New ones are big, alright? They're big spiders. These ones were like half the size. I think they used smaller poles or something. But they jumped really, really fast. So I can't really go there. I mean, but I love these props. I love, love these props. They're some of my favorites. But then, yet again, there are better ones that year. Uh, so I think that was... Number seven is Demonica. Oh my god, I freaking love Demonica. Yet again, better props of the year. Now remember, the reason why some of these props, some of these legendary props are so low, is because I just think there were some better than them, but I love these props. Now Demonica, I do remember I got freaked out by her. She was freaking scary to me. She was pretty scary because she was coming out of the sewer, the manhole. So, like, that was pretty creepy to me. But, um, I really like her audio. She sounds really good. Uh, I don't know which one I like better, though. 2010 or 11. So, number six is the Guardian of the Grave. I really like Guardian of the Grave. I think he's a really, really cool-looking prop. Um, honestly like him better than Pumpkin Guardian of the Grave, and I think I may try to get Guardian of the Grave off of, like, Amazon or something like that, if I can find one. I think they still sell them on GetCoolStuff.com. 
for like not 100 bucks, so I think I may actually get him. So that's awesome. Actually, I think I may try to get him for my birthday. Ooh. Alright, but, um, uh, Guardian of the Grave, yeah, really good prop. I really like how he's fog machine compatible, how he can fog. Uh, other than that, yeah, good prop. Good prop all around. Uh, five. Number five is the, uh, Grave Digger. Now, Grave Digger, Grave Digger was actually pretty freaking faulty, but he looked really, really cool. Alright, I really liked Grave Digger. Uh, even though most Grave Diggers now are really broken down, and I mean, they're not even usable anymore, I still liked him, alright? He's cool, he looks cool, I like his phrases, and I like how he points, so. So, number four is Lurching Vampire. This dude is almost six foot tall, and he lurches out, along with his eyes and mouth opening. Holy Jesus. And I think this thing was like $150, $160, so you were getting bang for your buck. And these things have like the interchangeable techie parts, so pretty easy to fix. I mean, all techie props are pretty much easy to fix. Mine is Broken Spine Girl. She sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty easy Pretty easy to set up, pretty cool prop. I love Lurching Vampire. Probably my favorite vampire prop. Alright, so number three is Flesh Eating Zombie. Now, Flesh Eating Zombie... Wait, hold up. Ooh. Ooh, something got mixed up. Number three is actually supposed to be the Gatekeeper. Really like the Gatekeeper. Wish I would have gotten him, but um, not very many... Not much to say about him. I love his phrases. I love his phrase, and I like how he sounds, and... I like how he's constant motion, so there's not much to say about him. Number two is the flesh-eating zombie. Now, yes, I know Mac of Haunt Former has flesh-eating zombie. I'm happy for him. And I know Mr. Halloween Junkie has him and some other people like Joby Videos. Wish I would have gotten this guy whenever I had the chance, but remember, 2011 couldn't even comprehend what this crap was. But yeah, I uh, really like this zombie prop. Honestly, probably one of my favorite all-time zombie props. Uh, really cool. Really A1. Good prop. Number one is... Alright, this one's gonna grind some people's gears. Twilight Twitcher. I don't know why I like Twilight Twitcher so freaking much, but he's so, 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 so cool. Uh, love his voice, and I like how he looks. Like, if you've seen him in real life, he actually looks really, really good. And, um... He's kind of tall. He's kind of tall. He, I think he's a little taller than six foot, more like six four. But it's a really nice prop. I enjoy. I enjoyed him, and I think. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I'm wrong. But he's a really cool prop. We should see him soon or get him. All right. So see you guys in the next video. Uh, probably 2012. Bye. That'll be out tomorrow. Maybe.